Hey guys, thing old nerd here. Um, <laughs> I'm just nerding out about my Vertex Sock P again. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> you're probably thinking this is a Sock P channel, but um, I did make a change. I put on some Velcro strip here. Just um, I don't know how well it works or not. I just thought I'd try it. Um, we'll see. My issue with these was that it just takes two hands. And, you know, putting it up is no problem. I don't mind doing it with two hands. This will even take two hands to do it. But um, if I needed to, you know, deploy it. Um, I figure if I put my phone in here, the, the power button is on the side. So I could drop it, press, you know, press here to turn it on. And then it would actually be this way. I'll press it and then I could, you know, get my camera going. And then pull it back up. So yeah, um, just wrap this thing around a couple of times. Put uh, cut a couple of slits in here. Took some needle and thread and just kind of tacked the ed edges so that it wouldn't keep, you know, ripping. And then this one, I took one and had to sacrifice it. I basically sewed it into the material there. Um, so yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, and then this material is kind of like a cloth material, so you could actually just maybe clip it onto the material itself. Maybe, maybe not. Anyways, so that's that. Uh, today, uh, range day, so I'm going to head out to the range. Um, it's been a while. It's been maybe over two months. Um, so let's see. Uh, I got basically... I'm gonna all my extra mags for my uh, Smith & Wesson. This is for the P320 and these are for the 365. So those are my practice mags. Got my two ears, got my bleed kit. Um, I got my tourniquet on my hip, on my belt. And um, what else? All this kind of extra stuff in here. I have 200 rounds in here. So that's, I think, I might buy a couple boxes at the range depending on <laughs> what their prices look like. I don't want to blow through all my ammo. Um, I'm down to about eight, 800 rounds. So I had a thousand. So now after this, it'll be 800. So yeah, still still an issue trying to find ammo um, at a reasonable price. Okay, so let's see, that's put everything back. I think that's all I need. Um, I'll usually take my gun cleaning kit just in case. Uh, let's see, I got this mat and I put this little napkin in the middle of it. So when I fold it, it's not, hopefully, It'll prevent it from, you know, creasing. Because then I'll just slide this in this back panel. Uh, maybe. Uh, something like that. That's, that's good enough. Um, and on the front, what am I gonna do for my weapons? Well, shoots, I can't, <laughs> I can't find it. So um, I know I have one in my car. I remember, I made two of those um, panels. So I'm just gonna have to use my original, the, just the flat one. Um, so I really have no idea where my other one is. So, anyways, this will be good enough for the range. Um, it's, even though it, this one is just flat, doesn't flex. But, um, I'll put that here. That should close up, okay. And then for the Smith, um, this is my holster for my Smith & Wesson. And I don't have the hook and loop on that one, so I use this this pad. I gotta really clean up my junk. And for this, it, I just slot it through that 
piece. The uh, if I can get the clip through there. Okay. And the strap goes around. And goes in the back there. So, got enough for the range, I think. And I'll put it. Oops. Need some more real estate here, but maybe to secure both of those like that. Close it up. Okay. There. Perfect. And what else do I need? Um oh I'd bring my little mini tripod. I don't know, I hate being the guy taking videos at the range, but um, I'll sacrifice for my audience. And I guess that's about it. I got eyes, ears, I got foam ears. Make sure I have my foam ears. Yep, there they are. And guns, cat, ammo, that's good to go. So, uh, zippers, a little bit challenging. Oh, it's that mat. Okay. And so curl that down. It should be good. Everything in there. And my strap. So yeah, these are the the clip mods that I made, so it's good. Um and then I I just have the one Pad. I took the other one off. It was a bit too cumbersome, and I don't think I really need it. That's it. Oh, I need my extra targets. I keep in here. Yeah. So these are just. Um, I guess it depends on how long I'm gonna shoot, but um, I just have some extra targets. And that's my loadout. So, see you at the range. Uh, sorry about this crappy footage i have no idea what's you know my what's being recorded on my phone when it's in my sock p so that's kind of an issue uh, i have to figure this out but um yeah that's <laughs> that's this is pretty much the range photo or range footage that i got Um, usually when I have low round count at the indoor range, I start at seven yards and I'll do one, one mag in each of my guns, uh, just using the iron sights. And then I'll turn on the red dots and do another, another round, um, with one mag each. Then I push out to, from seven yards to 12 yards each gun and then push out to 20 yards after that um then i come back and then i'll do like five yards you know like maybe um one-handed you know both right and left at five yards and then i'll push out to 10 yards and then 15 yards and then um 
whatever is left out. I mostly shoot like at uh, at the seven yard line. So. Here uh, I finished, but my target mechanism uh, had a mechanical failure. <laughs> so uh, I had to leave the target where it was. Um, but here's a picture. Of Thank you, my friend. Have a good day. That uh, concludes my range day. Um, I, it was pretty pretty productive. Um, I didn't buy the, <laughs> as you can tell from the video, I didn't I didn't buy the ammo at the at the range. Still a little bit too steep for my my wallet. <laughs> Twenty five dollars. Um, anyway, uh, that felt good. Uh, at the end, the the target mechanism malfunctioned and I couldn't get my target back so anyways um it was just good to get back on the range and um, kind of feel the recoil again and, and just get some get some target time in so um well that's all I have for today and thanks for watching uh, please leave comments or questions and I'll see you next time